What is up guys, Bitter Doris, and today we are doing a packing video like I promised. Today is Monday the 23rd, and um, next week uh, we're doing some elk scouting this all week. We're going to put it at the end of this video maybe. Um, I'm put some trail cameras out, got some uh, pretty good looking deer out there. Haven't got any pictures yet, but... Um, we're going to hop onto my other monitor, then after that we're going to hop onto my big camera up there, and we'll go through my gear and all the stuff that I have. Today's hat, again, is Bucks. Um, link is in the description um, for their website. I'll shoot over to this other camera. Okay, here's my pack that I got. Um, nothing too fancy. Uh, personally recommend it. I've worn it for about 45 minutes now. Filled it up with stuff. And uh, it looks really good. It feels really good. Um, I recommend it for new people getting into camping, hunting, that kind of stuff. Um, it goes really well with my binocular harness. And it's really all I can say about it besides, you know, I wish I would have got a bigger version of it. Um, it's got a, you know, it's included with a built-in um, rain cover. And, uh, honestly, really, really, really like it. It's got an external door right here. You can see that. So let's say you got your gear at the bottom. You can uh, hop in there, grab your cooker, grab whatever you need to get out of there. And you can have access to it. <clears throat> um, really big top opening. I will say that. Uh, I, I like it, actually. And there's the rain cover. And then I'll show you, I'll show you guys all that um, when we get into it. Um, but that is it. They've got one that I really wanted to get was, I think it's the 80 or the 75. The 75. Yeah, the 75 one is the one that I really, really wanted to get. But I didn't notice that this one was whatever you want to call it, smaller. But oh well. There's always next year, right? So now let's uh, hop into the big camera and go from there and get into some gear. Alright, guys, we're on to the now onto the uh, big camera here and uh, let's go with the first thing we see um, which is we're going from right to left which is camera gear so flip it around here All right, can you guys see me here? A little bit better. Okay, so, camera gear. Since, you know, I'm doing YouTube here, camera gear is my big deal. Uh, I've got lots of accessories. This fits my first GoPro, um, this camera, um, some chargers, some tripods, some Go, you know, the original GoPro um, accessories. And you've got this back pouch that's got, I mean, extra storage. So, camera bag. Um, open it up here, the main compartment. It's got the main bag for that. Uh, that, you know, with SD cards, batteries, that kind of stuff. 
Um, now we'll move on to more camera gear. This is my easily accessible GoPro one for my GoPro 9 that I got. But you guys saw all the river videos on as a GoPro 9. It's got um, a hand tripod selfie stick, um, some extra batteries, a charger, um, some camera lenses, the necessities for um, GoPro stuff. And then this is a little another little case. It's got a bunch of GoPro stuff, just generic from Amazon stuff that I needed. Um, like, you know, so I can attach it to my end of my rifle and rifle hunting or that kind of stuff. Like, you know, I can have a pole or whatever, you know, that kind of stuff. Okay. Hydration. So, this is going to be one of them on the external of the pack. Um, for the internal, I'm running a 75 liter, or 72, excuse me, 72 ounces bladder. Um, you know, it's key to have a bladder. Uh, got this water bottle, like I said. Um, then you got one of these. These are for, like, keeping in the truck, keeping at the beginning of the trailhead. It's one of these little uh, canteen stuff, so you can fill everything up. Um, if we do ever do a, like a two-day hunt, like we're not staying at my cabin where I'm keeping the water and stuff, um, carry this along with us. That way you got, I don't honestly know how much this carries, but you've got at least this. have got two bottles um, and then a bladder, basically. Um, that's for water. Now uh, let's. This is my hunting license carrier. Um, my state doesn't do any waterproof licenses anymore, so I keep my license in here with a plastic bag. Uh, kill bag is really what it's what I call it. Just a Ziploc. It's got my address, um, my actual my boater card that I have. It's got my state, all my addresses, um, phone number, that kind of stuff. So if I get stopped by a game warden, got, you know, this kind of stuff. Um, next thing is, is I won't carry all this with me at one time, um, but it's just some um, cordage. Uh, I've cut them up into small pieces, taped them, and thrown this in the tote that I'm going to have with me at camp and uh, just grab and go. So there's that. Now we're on to the pack like you guys saw. Uh, we will put everything that I plan on taking with me for a day hunt in here ready to go. Um, show you the rain fly a little bit later and we get everything shown and then packed away. Okay, now on to my binocular harness. So, big vortex guy. Um, as you can see, I've got my rangefinder here with that green cord attached to it. I've got a cow call here that stays there and then I got a cow call here bunch of cow calls, breeds, um, that go in here normally, this side, um, for calling. This side, you know, since it got braces, I can't eat apples and that kind of stuff, so I keep a knife on me right here for food-wise. My wind checker, you've got my glass cleaner, I've got an extra call back here, I've got some ear, um, earplugs, uh, I got another glass cleaner. I think that's all for the, the back zipper here. And then uh, everything comes up. It's taped, so no dangling cords and that kind of stuff. This one got pulled out. I don't, I'm not going to fix it. Um, 
yeah, I personally like Vortex, like I said. Uh, this fits me really well. Um, can't say anything else about them, really. So, then we'll go into calling, which <clears throat> you guys saw my How to Bugle video. You'll see this. Same call, same stuff, same reads as last year. Uh, I go through about two reads a year. I got um, my practice one that I use, and then I go through like half the elk season with that, and then I go through a new, like an, uh, I go to a new one, and and then I get you know my practice out of that the next year. But same bugle tube. Just a uh, Rocky Mountain hunting call. Uh, same with the reeds. Personally like them. I mean, it's almost the only thing really out there for calls. Darn it. My reeds fell and came open and that kind of stuff. But uh, I, I run four reeds in the pouch. The white one I like, um, just fits better. Getting to learn this one is a lot smaller. Uh, I can do a pretty good cow call with this one and my brown one that I got here, um, but not my primary. The white one is a little stretched, so that's why I can't get a clean, crisp cow call. That's why I have the blow call in there. Then I have a little squeeze hoochie mama that I carry, I'm going to carry with me. Um, so, you know, if I need to get a cow, you know, like a lost cow kind of stuff. Instead of this, got a little bit extra. Um, we'll go back to optics. Phone scope. Um, obviously, you got to have a... Spotting scope. I just have a pursuit spotter. Um, use this tripod that you guys are on. Throw the phone scope on. Get some video. Um, that's like early morning stuff. Uh, the binoculars you can't zoom in for a bull early morning. That kind of stuff. Um, so there's that. Lighting that I keep. I'm gonna keep on top is just a headlamp. Um, red for blood, blue for blood, and off. It's simple. Then we'll go into boots. I've got two sets of boots that I normally run. These ones are new this year. I uh, don't, heartless, harder, don't, I don't know. Uh, I've been wearing these a lot. They're broken. I've got logging boots, like I like to call them, but they're, you know, leather boots. They're a lot heavier for, you know, if I'm going a lot shorter distances, colder weather, more winter type stuff for me. Um, these are going to be my summer, fall, archery elk season stuff. Um, and then if we do go for overnight, which I don't plan on it for the first week, just got this light speed, it's giant, um, but it will go on the bottom of the pack. Um, same with the sleeping bag, I'll have it here with me. But um, there's that. Let's grab some more stuff. So there's... Two or three hats that I'll be wearing. Bucks, camo. I've got um, another camo hat. I got a beanie. Or this. I'm a big cowboy hat guy for elk season. Um, this is the one I normally run for uh, rifle season. Keeps the snow off of me and walking through trees. Keeps it on. Uh, you know. That kind of stuff, but who knows? Never know what a uh, archery season is gonna bring you. So take that with me. Then I've got 
a duffel bag. Big duffel bag guy. Um, it's got some stuff in it, like winter clothing, which I won't need it for this trip, but uh, since I'm going to, let's, let's do one of these numbers here. Yeah, 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 there we go, there we go. Since I'm going to be hunting a lot, uh, might as well just bring it up on one trip. Got a kill bag here that I'm going to put inside the bag. It's just a fanny pack that I used to use. Knives, some landowner asking permission stuff, some tape, that kind of stuff. Um, I've got a couple backpacks in here. Life straw. Uh, where we hunt, not a lot of creeks, lakes, that kind of stuff. So, don't really use this. Never used it out at all, actually. Okay, I've actually never used this before. Um, just nice to have. Um, got some vests that I'll be like, wearing. It's a North Face vest camo. Um, I'll be running this a lot, especially in those early mornings. Um, to get to my processing kit. I've got some camo in here. Here's my processing kit. Uh, it's my one that I keep at home or at camp. Got your fillet, gut hook, breakdown knife. It's what? Actually, this is my skinning knife normally. My breakdown knife, meat knife. You got your saw sharpener over here. I like it. It's a Rocky Mountain. Um, it's a outdoor edge elk. Um, yeah, it's basically all in here. It's got some rain gear, some uh, camo stuff, uh, my long johns, some uh, extra jeans that I don't wear. Um, that kind of stuff. And, uh, that's basically all in this bag here. Now let's go to the meat and potatoes. The weapon of choice. So, here is my quiver. Um, I've got the pink ends. Kind of a, like a glowing knock type stuff. It's not aluminock or anything. Um, Pull out the old broadheads. Uh, pink as well. Only on the fletchings. My theme this year was all pink, as you can see. Uh, I think it looks really good. Drop your comment down below what you guys think. Like I said, I broke two off. I'm missing another one because it's my practice arrow right now. Um, let me grab my keys that are here on the desk and open up my bow case. Where are you down here? My bow case here, keep it locked at all times. Just because uh, it's a little nicer and I don't want anything happening to it. So, just keep one of these little master locks with keys. And then, now we open here. Okay, maybe if we can grab it. And there it is. And I'll walk you through everything I got here. Um, raise you guys up a little bit. Okay. So, you'll gonna see this a lot more, but it's just pink strings.
Raise guys up a little bit more. Pink strings. Pink sight. Pink arm thing. A um, little bit of pink on the on here. It's like a red pink. Um, got a new peep here. Same peep is always just a lot different this year. Uh, different D loop as last year. Um, yeah, all around same bow, just different strings. A lot newer strings. This is a little different. This is a little different. Um, peep is a lot different, but all the same, pretty much same uh, link in the name. But it holds your arrow. Whisker biscuit. There we go. Um, set this off to the side, and I'll show you guys the sight. Well, you guys can see that it's 50 yards. There's five pins. Can you see that a little better? Yeah, you can. Five pins. The bubble down here is really my fifth pin. I hold the top, like the top of the bubble is my pin there. It's okay. I'm figuring it out. So, for... Here goes my arrows. For practice arrow, same. Just got a field point on there. Really mangled up field point. It's okay. Alright, what do I keep in my case? I keep a lot of extras. Because if I'm out on the road, you never know what you're going to need, right? So for boat maintenance, you've got Cabela's bowstring wax, Allen set. This thing can take my bow apart 100% and I can change all new strings if I want to with just this Allen, this Allen set here. Okay, for siding in stuff, Allen set. Keep a pencil with me, a little eraser. For the sight, when I was sitting in my friend's bow as well, I'd mark it on the sight so I knew how much I've moved it each time. And then afterwards, I erased all of it. Then I got a little Cabela's red knife here. Um, pliers, uh, scissors, all kinds of stuff. I use the pliers to change with broadheads. Don't want to get cut. So, armband. I have the original replacement armband. Um, don't really need to. And I've got extra nuts here. And then, here is the original strings. So like I was saying, if I need to, I can literally change my strings out. You know, if I am get to a bow shop and these strings get cut, break, whatever happens to them. I can have these with me in my bow case. Take it to a local archery shop. Slap these things on there. Go back to camp. Shoot my bow. Sight back in. Go back hunting. It's the theory at least. And that's one side. Um, another replacement thing is for my peep. I have this elastic rubber band for the peep. Um, that's what originally was on there. So when you draw back, it straightens out the peep. It came off, ripped, that kind of stuff. Don't need it, so it's extra. Um, just in case my sight and my peep somehow don't work together, shooting off. Throw this back on, shoot my bow again. Problem solved, hopefully. And all this stuff is on one side. The other side has nothing. Thought it did. It's so all that it slid down to the one side. That's okay. Put the bow back together, or the box back together. And like I said, you guys will be seeing this a lot more. So, if you guys have questions on it, feel free to drop a comment down below. And I'll answer it for you. Let me lock it back up here so I don't forget to tonight. Okay. 
bow goes back over here. Now on to the fun, fun part. It's this giant thing here. It's got all my stuff. So this big block has got long johns, um, some hats, some gloves, that kind of stuff in here. This, so I'll just show you guys real quick. Come over here. This is what it looks like inside, all organized. And we'll go through it individually so you guys can see the gear I'm using. All right. So we go to the first bag, which is house stuff. So I've got this bag here has got toiletries, that kind of stuff. It's got uh, some lights, my water pick for my braces, phone charger, um, camera, battery, that kind of stuff in here. This small bag is some camo as well. I've got some shorts, i got some sweatpants in here. Um, this is some extra jeans. Stuff like that. And that's in here, this bag, this Safeway bag. <clears throat> Next bag that I'm not going to bring out is sweatshirts um, and some more pants. I've got this bag here. It's got towels, stuff for showering, lame stuff like that. The next one some people will enjoy is a uh, sleeping gear. So, just got some camo sheets for a queen and if it's twins, basically everything under a queen. New piece of kit though, it's a comforter that I got all packed up still. I keep down at camp now. Um, and like I said, this stuff, this bat, uh, can't speak, this tote will not be coming back and forth for me. I've got um, two pillows and then I got a camping pillow um, that I keep all down there. I, can't, I brought it all back to wash it for this new season. And this is it, I believe, for this. Now we're going to pack the pack for a day hunt. And uh, get ready, get all the stuff ready to go, put on the table, and uh, ready for my elk hunt. My bow is all good. Um, we're just waiting on my other arrows now. I'm waiting on my six arrows that I've got coming. Um, but in the meantime, I've got three. Three arrows is all I have. So, I will catch you back when I get ready to pack. Alright, we are back. We've got everything on the table here behind me. So, we'll get to packing. We got camera gear. Um, we got calls. We've got binoculars. We got some camo gear. We got our kill bag. We got water stuff. We've got our bag. So here we go. This is our bag here. Okay. We're going to throw in this here. Okay. 
I'm gonna velcro that thing in. And if you guys have any suggestions on what I should do differently, please drop them down below. Um, so this, I'm assuming, is just going to come out the top. So I don't see anywhere else where it'd go. So we're going to take this for now. Tuck it down inside. Alright. We've got our vest. Camo vest. Hold this thing up. I'm going to put this thing all the way at the bottom. It, it counts for nothing, right? We've got our camo rain pants. I use these things a lot in September because I didn't have any um, camo pants. I got really hot. Let's just say that. Um, winter, these were my kill pants as well. These are for rifle season. These account for nothing as well. We've got my rain jacket, which surprisingly I use a lot as well. Um, this all folds up inside the hood, which I like, which accounts to a little bit of weight, but I use this more and that's why I'm going to be putting this towards the top of clothing stuff. Alright, that fills that. Now we're going to go into kill bag. It's got licenses, it's got some rubber gloves, it's got uh, knives, saw, um, some sharp ring stuff, um, everything to be successful, right here. Goes down there. Alright, now we go, here's our hoochie mama. blasting. All right, now we go into some camera gear. That stuff right there. This goes there. Camera bag. Then goes shoved down there. Okay. And that's all goes in here. Pull out this thing. I'm going to cinch this up just like that. We do a little knot and I'll show you this here in a second. Um, takes me a second to figure out how to do a, a knot. We'll get it here. This is not that's easily pulled through. Um, show you that here in a second. Now you throw just just like that right there. Pull this little tab, pull it through. Okay. You put your lid on here. Snapping it down. We're going to stretch this over the pack. Yeah, the most important thing I forgot is to cinch this down. Just got a little Velcro or a little buckle here. Keeps stuff nice and tight. Not very important, but probably will help. Compress some stuff. Okay. 
that's all cinched, cinched down. I'm probably going to want to run this down this way here. Just like that there. Got our hydrate stuff. Like I said, here's a rain fly. I've just got it all folded up here. Um, for the meantime. But we'll leave it out for just a moment. Stuff that's going on top. This. The hoochie. Grunt call. Three different extra reads. Water filter. That's important. Headlamp. And then the one thing that I have not put in here yet is food. But that goes underneath the camera stuff. So I'm out of luck there. Um, next here goes this. And I'm going to put it on the outside right here. Which we take this and I want to unzip it a little bit. Stick this down inside of here. Another thing that I don't have because I'm using it, but I'll be carrying alongside of my bow is the tripod. Because um I'll be carrying it for when I'm, you know, doing my friend's hunt. Um, so I'll have you guys on there. So if I'm, you know, calling a bull, really, f like, you know, drop, like, call, that kind of stuff, you guys, I can just fling you guys out. You know, I'm sitting there calling, raking, getting this bull fired up, and uh, ready to, ready to kill. up everything. Another thing that I don't have with me is game bags, which you guys are all probably wondering about. This water bottle, really like it. This is for ice water. This goes on the other side, obviously. It's all buckled up. All right. Everything cinched really, really nicely. Okay, we'll throw this on for you so you guys can see what it will look like.
Let me get us out here. Back you up. All right. Here we go. Got top button or top one. Bottom one. Hips. Then we go pack straps. Let me go feel that around. And there we go. Enough room. Cinch this down extra tight. Just like that. And then I'll have my harness on, which let me throw that on for you guys. Sorry, I'm sweating a little bit because it's a little hot in here and I can't have the AC on because it would make way too much noise and you guys wouldn't be able to hear me. Okay, so we got this on. This is free moving. Throw the hat on. You know, it's not heavy. But it sure ain't light. Can tell you that. You know, just enough that you'll feel it. Go underneath here, just like that. Okay, cinch the bag down, and we're set. You've got your hydration, hydration here. Suck on it, let it drop down to your side. Got your binoculars in here. Just like that. And then, now I'll show you guys really quick what the rain fly looks like on here. You get your orient heat, the words at the top, just like that. Which I think this is going to be a good. Sorry, I'm up for in here. I think this is going to be more used for my light rifle hunt, or maybe even. My late archery elk hunt here, December, January, that I got. It's late archery, actually. It's uh, so late. I'm not going to button it back up, but you guys can get the idea. It's right there. It's going to fill out more as I put more stuff in it. Obviously, food. If I do a two day hunt, even an overnight hunt. It's got my cooker, it's got sleeping bag, tent, all that kind of fun stuff. Plus, I'll have my bow on top of my back, just like this. So, it's going to add a lot more weight, a lot more fillness. And, I still have full draw with this thing on, which I was worried about. And, uh, yeah. Now we'll hop onto the computer. And finish this video up. Hey. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm gonna pull something up real quick here. Put my keyboard back down. Uh, here we go. If you guys like this type of stuff, please drop down in the comments down below. And unfortunately, these next couple weeks, you guys aren't going to have anything really to say because 
And you guys see this all back here. We're just getting into main season. So stuff is going to kick off here. Um, but in the off season, you guys get to choose what you guys want. So we have had 32.7% people watch that are not subscribed. So if you guys are one of them, please check down below. Subscribe. Our last video I checked, we had 87.5% of people subscribed. We hit my goal. Now if we can get this video to that same spot, I'll be happy. But this is my overall, my, my overall channel the last 28 days. 32.7% of you guys not subscribed. It's just, it's literally just, it's for free. It's, you guys, you're, you're getting channel notifications every time I upload, which is every Sunday. You're getting all kinds of stuff. You're getting community posts that I post all the time. Um, you get to read comments. You know, we get to have discussions, and you get to stay up, up to date with all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, when you're not subscribed, if you don't remember to look at my channel, then you're not going to get my video. You know, it's, it's just that simple. So if you guys could, please subscribe. Um, just looking at a couple other things here. Some comments that I'd like to talk about is since I've started, I've had two comments. I'd like to get those up to maybe three per video. You know, so that way I have something to do on a Sunday afternoon when I'm not hunting. Go back, read all your guys' comments, reply to the ones that I need to. Um, also, we're, we're still looking for an editor. I'll put the um, email down in the description below. You guys, send us that. Uh, and we'll go over that. And... I think that is it. We've got a nice little episode for you guys this week. I uh, might be throwing in um, some deer videos or photos at the end of this video. But if not, thank you so much for watching. And peace.